Hello you guys and welcome to another how to improve on video. Um, as you can see this is a bit different and um, the reason for that is that um, the first part of the video is broken and I cannot fix it. Um, the audio for the f for my media files um, is broken. Uh, luckily I still have the second part of the video where I point out how to improve on the heroes. Uh, what you sh have to keep in mind is that in this, in the second part, I refer back to the first part, which will not be revealed, which is not uh, something that you will um, have any knowledge of. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I'm, at least you will get something from it. You'll still learn how to improve on that specific hero. Um, and hopefully you will enjoy the last games. Um, so with that in mind, see you guys in a bit. Alright, we find ourselves on Warhead Junction. Um, and this might be the, the right form of test because each team has a Morales, each team has a tank. Uh, And um, the other team might be more squishy because they have a stealth and they have Tyrande. But that Tyrande could possibly go for um, for a damage build. Uh, we're going for <coughs> scouting drone so that we can find the Nova. Got him. <laughs> I don't think we have to keep going there. It's kind of odd that they have their healers in, mi in the mid. Oh. Holy crap. Go away! Alright, I'll, I'll just take the mid guys, no worries. That, that's just what I'm going to do. Like the lane I am, I'm going to defend this lane. Oh yeah. Well, you just look at the minimap. Um, Sounds serious. Oh, oh, no, no. Um, people tend to think that this is like League of Legends, where you have to say "s" s all the time. Um, got him. And I believe that this game speaks for itself. If you can't see any of the enemies on the minimap, then you should probably get back. Why am I always mid? Um, we are going for automatic block. I have to stay mid. I don't get it. Else than me should solo lane.
There you go. Um, we're going for the mule. Upgrade complete. Have they dropped any? Nope, they have not. Here we go. I should maybe not get into that. Up, uh, get out again. I'm going to take this. That's gone. Let's get to work. This hasn't taken any damage. I'm going to put down a mule right here. Now. Mm, I'm going to pick Stimbrone. I can mule again in fifteen seconds, I think. Again, I find myself laning in the mid, but I don't think that uh, I really don't think that 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 should be Morales's role. Um, Morales is not a strong laner, but. My teammates have a tendency to just leave the lanes, and we have an XP advantage. I'm dead. Oh, I got out. <laughs> oh, butcher. Well, that's not really something I can do anything about. Your enemy has destroyed a fort. Coming mid. I'm going to help our tanks. Warhead deployment in process. Enemy fort destroyed. Have you? Come back! I'm healing you! Uh, I'm coming! Uh, uh couple therapy. Well, I think we did 
Fort elimination confirmed. Not a problem. Let's see. I think that. Uh. Sorry. I don't think that there's so much else to say than I already mentioned. Um, Morales is really good at single target healing. Um, and that's basically what she can do. So she benefits a lot from having uh, someone to support at all times. But it makes her really easy to play. Um, her mechanics are quite simple. Um, so the one thing that you really want to look out for is not to have your healing beam on every target at all times, um, or, e or every possible target. Um, you want to disrupt it from time to time. Oh! Ouch! We did it! We showed them. Um, I am going to. Slow on impact, second opinion. Yeah, I'm on my way. Well done. Well, we ought to help this. Yeah, but we are ready with the mule in a second. Come back! Oh. Coming. Oh. So if you want, if you want someone who's easy to learn uh, as a healer, I think Morales is a good pick. She's not. 
the viable option for every composition, but she is she's definitely worth picking. Um, in most situations. Um, She's really good against those single target uh, damage dealers, just like uh, Nova and Butcher. Um, but versus AoE, she lacks utility. Um, what? 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 What's that? Why did you do that? Holy... I'm coming! Um... Also like so, which grant shields. Let's just take transfusion. Uh, I don't really need shields and mana. I'm gonna put that down there. Um. I haven't died yet, so I don't really think that shields are the way to go. Yeah, they're going to get the top four, uh, but I don't think that will be a, an issue. Go up here. Just going to heal the, these guys up again. I think we can end it now. Kill me. All right, that went well. Um, as I said, there's nothing. There's not much to say that hasn't already been said um, MVP. about Morales. Um, she is a solid pick in in Hero League, I think. Um, The three tips I will give for Morales, which would allow you to play her quite effectively, is one, you want to position yourself well. Um, always stay behind. Um... Now let me rephrase that, because yeah, it's, it's position, but try to always keep yourself safe by positioning yourself right, and by picking the talents that will allow you to survive. Um, because Morales will be effective or efficient throughout the entire game, but if she gets killed, well, then she's no good for her team. Um, so, for instance, I went for Scouting Drone in the beginning. I haven't used it that much because um, Nova wasn't a, really an issue for me, um, but that would allow me to stay alive. Staying behind the, my, my teammates and put up Scouting Drone so I could see if she tries to attack me. Um, that makes a huge difference. Um, so security first. Uh, next thing, stick with a damage dealer at all times. This was this last game was not a prime example on that um, because my teammates were all over the map suddenly and left me to 
defend the lane on my, uh, on my own. Um, and that's a tough choice because I could leave the lane, but then we would lose a lot of XP. At some point, we were only on one lane if I had left. Um, and I still think it's better to get your team some XP than uh, going around doing something um, brainlessly. Um, as you can see, I had a lot of XP contribution because I was on the lanes all the time. Uh, but she is not a laner. So stick with a um, um, stick stick with a teammate that can deal some damage because then you have that efficiency of keeping him alive all the time. It's so difficult to kill someone who has a Morales beam on them, um, and you have someone who can protect Morales. Um, don't do it with a stealth though, um, because that won't be efficient enough. Uh, you want someone like Li Ming or Atanas or Sul Jin or um, let's say Reyna or who could we possibly think of now? Tychus. Um, but if they stealth, they leave you and then you are exposed. Uh, so that that joins with the first tip. Always keep yourself safe. Um, and then the last tip is about uh, her abilities. Don't just leave that beam on a target uh, all the time. Have a look at their health pool, see how uh, if, if they have full health, cancel the beam. You do that with your trait. Um, when to use your displacement bomb. Uh, in general, keep it, uh, keep it uh, to save yourself. Uh, but if you are dominating them, you can use them to displace them so that your teammates can be um, uh, can be more efficient and kill them much easier. Um, so that takes some some practice, but get used to use the beam and not use the beam and when to use your displacement grenade. Uh, grenade. That's that's it basically. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, or just at least this button. Um, that would help me out a lot. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.